been waiting for. The mixed doubles final between Wu Xinhua and Wei Yashin of China. And Hong Kong China's Tang Chunman and Tsai Ying Sweat. And we can bet there will be fantastic noise in here. This is the path to the final. Fantastic matches, I have to say. Um, and Tang and Tsai really have captured the imagination. Also got to say that uh, Guan Wei have been so impressive because they are a brand new pair just been put together for this tournament. Now the race to the finals for the mixed doubles, we've got uh, three from China inside the top eight. Remember, you're only allowed two from any one country, which means that Tan Tung and Wei Yashin, who are no longer a pair as of now, because Wei Yashin's here in this final, that one looks to be under jeopardy anyway. That gives a hope to the pairs below them. It looks like Jen Zhangbang has uh, moved on to Li Qiang. They went out early on in this tournament. Chinese pair out first. Oh, listen to that. And of course, the home favourites here getting right behind their heroes, their representatives. Tang Chun Man and Tsai Ying Sweat who have uh, talked about the amazing support that they've had. Hello. Hello. First meeting between these players, obviously, because Gore and they only just got together here. Come for the first. I have... Gold and black. What do you choose? Black. Oh, this one. Gold. Black. I was saying. Tell you what, it's been saying. It's been a while since they've played here, and of course they're looking forward to being in front of their family, their friends again. And the always can be nerve-wracking, the but they've enjoyed the experience very much. Where you seen? Real sir. Tang Chun Man fondly remembers their run to the semis so cool. of this tournament and their debut as a pair in 2016. They felt the eventual winners, Tontowi Ahmad and Liliana Nazir. And he said that was special. And we were still a new partnership, but made the last four great times. So similarly, this other new pair that's facing them today, making their debut final. So, we'll find out a little bit more about this pair. Here's Squaw Xinhua, who's 23, 176 centimetres tall from the north of the country, Liaoning. Now his highest ranking was 30th with Tang Chu Xian. Mixed doubles, he's a former Asia Junior Champion in 2018. He's won four titles on the tour, by the way, uh, with Zhang Chu Xian. Uh, three with her and one with Liu Xuanchuan. Wei Yashin is the uh, most accomplished of the of the pair, 23, and uh, she was uh, she was seventh. As you saw, she's been quite, doing quite well with Jian Xiaobang, Xiaobang. World champs this year. In fact, just last month they were third of the world champs. They've dropped a game against Chen Tanjie and Toi Wei. They beat two Malaysian pairs along the way. Um, that was their most biggest test so far. She's. Also the current Asian champion as well with Zhang Zhenbang. It's so interesting to see that. And uh, she's won three titles before with Jiang, including the Swiss Open and uh, Ruchang China Masters. We just saw Tang Chun Man there. And uh, Tseying Sweat 
must remember, while they're 23rd in the world, they are a former world number two. That was in June of 2018. The world Championships twice, they finished third in 2018 and 2021. They got a bronze there. And the Asian Games, which they get to defend soon, they were silver medalists. Now, it hasn't always been easy for them. They've dropped games in all the rounds Ready except the semi-finals. They've been pushed quite far. They've been beating Reginald Lee and also for Hong Kong, China. Abdullah Chahari of Indonesia is the umpire. And Cohen Kestelin of Belgium is our service judge. Yes, this uh, Hong Kong pair have won four titles together. The Korea Masters, Chinese Taipei Open in 2019, the Macau Open and Malaysia Masters 2018. It's been four long years since they've won a title. It's their first final in two years. They got to the Indonesia Masters a final there and lost. It's a big moment for them. It really is. As we said, that was one of their best results at the Hong Kong Open. It's the first time that Guo and Wei have been to the Hong Kong Open. Fantastic. Yeah, that was their first ever time together as a pair, and they got to the semi-finals in 2016. So let's see how they go here. They've not had a fantastic year. Indonesia Open, they got to the semis. Quarterfinals of the Thailand Open and the Australia Open. And that's about it. Lost in first and second round. Exits. I think that actually tongue shot came off too in that one. Yeah, there you go. You don't see that very often. That's quite rare. <laughs> Worth watching for all of them. Just falls short. I was impressed with going away yesterday against Natsu Saito and Hiroki Midorikawa, an experienced pair. They just looked really impressive. Really powerful, fast, quick. We're on the court. We are, of course, uh, in a rare scenario of having all four players being left handers. <laughs> well, every point is going to be like this. Hong Kong have not had much success in this tournament overall. They've only won three medals. The very first was Wang Chen in 2008, winning the women's singles. And then they've had two men's singles winners. I guess on Kalong in 2016, Liu Chukyu in 2019. And that's it. So it's good to have a finalist here there. Give them a chance. Oh, beautifully done by Tang Chun Man. With that space in the front court that he exploited. Three, one. Yeah, the support has been absolutely brilliant. 
And uh, even Jason Gunawan, another Hong Kong player, you saw him at the start of the day today bringing out the World Tour Finals trophy. He said he could hear so many people shouting for him. He really appreciated the support. And uh, that was his first ever big tournament in Hong Kong. He loved it. Good power from Tung Chun Man. at the moment, isn't he? Full of verve, power. very nicely. It's a decent four-point lead at the start here. Sarisova, 4 7. Good placement again. Oh, that's one he's got to be putting away. 5 oh, seven. That's disappointing. Attention, man. Oh dear. Yeah, he won't be happy with that. Six, seven. And they are battling back here. And it's all square. They've, they've done really well, the Chinese, by the last few points here. Well, they did say, Patrick and Tony Sweat, that they grow with confidence with every match that they're playing. Particularly happy to beat Tom Chakel and Delphine Del Rue in the uh, quarterfinals. They'd lost to them at the Singapore Open. And uh, they were very happy to beat them and give them faith before the semis. And that's why I said they were playing with confidence. Oh. 
Chinese seem to have just seven. started to get to grips with things now. That might be a concern. Six points at the moment. Fantastic. Sarzova, 10 8. Remember, it was 7 3. So they've had seven of the last eight points, the uh, Chinese. 11-8 in the hole. At the uh, first interval, it's Guan Wei just in front here of Dang and 11-8 in game one. with uh, effectively a shot Ball right at the body eight. of uh, Tim Sweat. Very difficult to play that. From the crowd Eight. tells you how this is going. Training by five now. growing ever bigger now. Oh, they really stretch for some of the shots go away, return them. And they've taken firm control of this. They've Want all four points on offer. Sits here to man, just taking ready. a little time out here to talk effectively.
That's the first point they've garnered since the interval. But has it come a little too late? Seven points the difference. It doesn't last long, that mini fight back. Well, it was only one point, wasn't it? Trouble here for the Hong Kong pair. That was a good shot from Sir. Picked the spot well. Consecutive points, that's a start. Service over, eighteen eleven. Well, you might be already thinking, can they do, do they need to start strategizing 11. for the second game, different end? They actually played quite well in that far end, the Hong Kong pair. But uh, yeah, since the interval, that's really what's taken this away from them. Eleven. Lots of game points here. Seven One save. Twelve twenty. Too much, isn't it? It's a step too far. Facing game point now. And the game. Chinese pair cruise this first game. Remember, they were leading quite a while at the start. 7 3, and then it all went backwards. Once it got to 7 all, that was a fantastic run from the Chinese. They never looked back. Interval, they led by 3, and then just. Full steam ahead. 10 5, they won the post interval session. Pretty comfortable for them. 21 13, game one.
second game. Level play. Well, let's see if the change of end makes means a change of fortune for the Hong Kong pair of uh, Tang and Si. That's a nice start to it from Tang or uh, from Si. Thank you. Yeah, it's always impressive for a brand new pair to win the first ever tournament together. That is something, gotta say. Play. Service over. One all. Don't Two, want the Chinese one. to build up too much of a lead. Remember, it was a good start from Hong Kong pair in the previous game. They're not even having that at the moment. Three, one. There's a power from Tau. We saw a fair bit of that in the first game, but it was uh, in the earlier stages. Sails over, and we'll go back in front. Four, three. Three and six. Play on. Good. Service over, four, five. Team Swift, get ready. If I want some to keep moving. Keep going faster.
Remember, they were the Tokyo Olympics semi finalists. Tung Chu Man and Tae Yung Sweat. Pretty much of the. Uh, Service over. Five, six. Near the height of their powers. Points now, it's tighter. Wouldn't go over for two. Six all. Yeah, Tang said that even though they've got one step further this time than their 2016 debut appearance as a pair where they got to the semis, she said, for elite athletes, a win is never enough. You need more. Put away by way. One point, please. Seven, six. Looking to be Hong Kong's first ever mixed double champions at this event. They always want to do it again for the next match, uh, Tang said. Keep this as a target for tomorrow to win another battle today, I should say. I said they were very much looking forward to it, but they've got to do something like Oh, Wei Yashin has to put that over at least. Over seven, oh. also said that this final could be one of the most memorable moments of their lives. That's a very good point. Well, they created a bit of history as well yesterday by getting into this final. They're the first mixed doubles pair to contest a final in this competition since 1989, 34 long years. Chan Chi Choi and Amy Chan were the last pair that were runners up in 1989. Yeah, it's a lot tighter, isn't it, this one? Oh, that is very nicely done by Gore. Nine, eight. Angle that brilliantly. So it's a good angle to see this from. Such good vision. Yeah, it's it's not all one-way traffic. I think that's the important thing. Again, excellent at the net. Service over. 10 9. Well, Tang and Tzu have been in 11 finals. They've won six of them. They lost their last final, as I mentioned, the Indonesia Masters Thank 2021. You. After a run of three in a row. All came in 2018 and 19, as I mentioned. Well, I'm part. Well, yes, sir. So they've. To just improve on that. Yeah, it is really a point at a time at the moment, isn't it? Well, we are Shin and Jung Tabang were very well, were very successful with the pair, but had nine finals and one five of them, the last one that they 
played in as a career open in July and lost that to Feng Yang Tse and Hong Dong Ping. Very comfortably hammered in that. to readjust a little bit there to you sweat but it wasn't enough and at the interval of game two what and way are in front here 11 10 having already won the first game Just a bit long. Well, they don't want to let them get too far ahead here. 11. Uh, we'll go the Tanshu Man and Tayyong Sweat. Got to keep them at bay. Got to keep within that striking distance as we talk about. Tayyong Sweat. But Tang and Tzu have not have lost more than the one coming into this tournament. So it's not been a fantastic year. They're hoping this will be sort of the turnaround that they need. Go in front here, having trailed at the break. Way as in. No, not able to get the connection. Sanova, 13 oh. Put that away, he does. Tang and Tzu have played five Chinese pairs before in finals. One, two out of five. Interesting, uh, the last final they played, I guess a Chinese pair was at the Asian Games. Where they were silver medalists in the individual event. 
That was uh, five years ago. They get to perhaps defend that in uh, just a few weeks' time. Next week it starts, the Asian Games. Opening ceremony is next Saturday. Yeah, it's been a long time since they faced Chinese opponents in the final. Good rally. That should be finished off. Oh, yeah, just takes that one. <laughs> 15 14. We've seen this tip for tap thing has been going on for a while. Service over sixteen fifteen. One way. Opportunity to finish this off in two. Get ready. Good place. Oh, just wide. The right kind of idea there, didn't he? 15. Tung Chun Man, but it was just a little too wide. Very useful two point lead here. Doesn't get it over. Gore shakes his head. Still hope here for Hong Kong. They do. Play. Oh, excellent from Wei Yashin. Right into that corner, beyond the reach of Tang. Trying to come across. This has been. Really good. They haven't had a two-point lead. Well, it's only the second time they've had it since the interval. It's been so tight. <laughs> they just get pegged back again. Which so remain aggressive. away two is the need two is the lead 19 one way overall though when you look at their record tongue into against Chinese opponents it's not been great just eight wins out of 34 though interestingly they did win their last win guess it was Gu Xinhua 
Well, he was with his uh, previous partner, Zhang Shu Shen. That was at the World Champs in the second round last year. But they were. Eleven straight Dan losses against Man Chinese players in all rounds prior to that World Championship win. Here's a challenge. The last time they beat a Chinese pair was at the Malaysia Masters in 2018, the final, where they beat them to win. Wang Yachong. That's out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 20. And that means match point three championship 17. points. Play. Held off there for now. Still two championship points here. Acrobatic. Yeah, didn't get up the floor. Huawei Xinhua still there. And they took full advantage of Hong Kong pair. Did well to get this back, but he just took a while to get up and Tim Sweat capitalized on it. As she should. Thank you. It's already one. Okay. Still one championship point. Thank you. Go up. Get ready. No, it's okay. Remember, they talked about Play. the atmosphere that they could perform in front of their friends, their family, home crowd. Every match generates such deafening noise, and they have so much confidence from it. That's what Sir said, and they were going to be their motivation again. They want to do their best for them. But it's not quite okay. enough. The Chinese pair have won this. A brand new pair as well. This is their debut as a pair, which makes this all the more impressive. Guo Xinhua and Wei Yashin. They've got a lot of promise. Particularly Wei Yashin, who was doing so well with Zhang Bang. The change has just been made just after she got third place in the World Champs. And they have won this. Very, very impressive indeed. And I think there's a lot Match more to come from this pair. Keep an eye out for them. 21-13, 21-19. Delight on the face of Guo. Yeah, just a little long and uh, such a shame for the Hong Kong crowd here looking for the first ever. Mixed doubles champions, first time in 34 years I've seen a Hong Kong player even contest it. But it wasn't to be. No history made here. And uh, we do have our ninth Chinese mixed doubles winners in this competition. And the first since 2017 when Deng Zouwei and Huang Yachong, of course, an amazing pair themselves, won it. Now for the prize presentation.
Coming up shortly. Hello, 各位嘉賓,各位觀眾,頒獎典禮現在開始,請運動員進場。Ladies and gentlemen, prize presentation now begins. Players march in. Victor 2023 香港公開羽毛球錦標賽匯豐世界羽聯世界巡迴賽超級五百混合雙打 Mixed Doubles of Victor Hong Kong Open Badminton Championship 2023 Part of the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 500 Aquan Runner-up Deng Junman Jie Yingxue Hong First, we have Dr. Tong Yin Kai, President of the Hong Kong Badminton Association, to present the medals. Next, we have Mr. Vincent Liu, Director of Leisure and Cultural Services, to present the trophies. Thank you, Mr. Chief. 
。跟住我哋請康樂嘅文化事務處副處長徐曉龍小姐為我哋頒發支票。Now we have the Deputy Director of Leisure and Cultural Services to present the prize money. Thank you. Then we will invite the Mr. Tom Tom Wailun, Chairman of the Hong Kong Badminton Association, will now present Brocade. Thank you very much. 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 So there are your finalists. The winners take back a cheque of 33,180 US dollars. The runners up 15,960 as we complete all the formalities. And once again, I would like to call upon all the VIPs. You have to take to both sides of the podium for a group photo. Thank you. Thank you. Honored guests, please take a seat. Thank you. 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 为邓俊文、郑英树以及一对新嘅香港公开赛冠军组合影翻张合照留念。中国队亦都系事隔咗两届嘅香港公开赛之后，再一次重夺混合双打呢个项目嘅冠军。辛苦曬，雪，辛苦曬，鄧俊文。過去呢幾日，我哋呢對混雙組合，我諗牽動咗在場好多人，真係講得誇張啲，牽腸掛肚，每日都係等住你哋嘅比賽消息。順利出戰杭州亞運，我哋會繼續跟隨住你哋嘅比賽。So that is the mixed doubles done and dusted. Up next, it's men's singles. Don de Christie, the fifth seed from Indonesia, will take on Kenta Nishimoto of Japan. 热烈的掌声，祝贺混合双打的冠军郭新花、魏雅欣。
Three matches completed here on final day of the Hong Kong Open 2023. Two remaining and involve the men. We have got the men's singles final up next. Jonathan Christie of Indonesia, the fifth seed, will take on Ken 